What's going on? Ladies, hey, you want to plug, plug him in? Hey, you got to plug in. Leora? Get, yeah, oh well. He, he did it himself. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's he on air himself. all the time. <laughs> He's come live on, come all on the in, time. RC. Can, 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 there you go. Can uh, can everybody hear RC? Say something. Uh, yeah, you're gonna hear me. Turn you your little. You got to turn your little microphone up a bit. There you go. Give it a little bit of a nice. A little bit of a twist. Well, should thanks okay. for joining us this morning, RC. Yeah, man. No worries, man. It's good to have me. You know, uh, good to have him. <laughs> He's like, good to I have me. I was waiting for him to be like, oh uh, god. Yeah, yeah, it's our. You know what? We're five minutes into it. It's already going downhill. This is a terrible. We don't have Callie here to control us. I know. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to be getting texts and emails. Yes. Well, you guys are doing great. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you today, RC? I'm doing all right, dude. I'm really excited about it. It's uh, your mic is. It's it keeps flopping of, down. You got to bend it way up. Leora. Leor, can you bend his mic? No, 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 I'm totally good. I'm totally good. I'm just, <laughs> he I'm was totally kidding. Good. He got it. There, that's good. Now we can I'm hear just you. Harassing Leora at this point. Good, good. So there you should go. Should be fine. What but brings no, you to good. New York? Well, it's one of those things where this is one of the shows that every year I kind of just take off from all of the stuff that I'm doing, and I actually come here. This is a good spot for you to kind of catch up with what's happening in the industry, catch up what's happening with gear, technology, and, and all of that stuff. Right in one. And one of the best cities in the world. So I'm actually from here, so it's one of those things. Where You're a like, native New Yorker. I am a native New Yorker. But but you moved down to like Florida or something. Yes, yes. Okay. I moved down to Florida about six years ago. Nice. Well, you know what? I don't think everybody knows RC, so let's just talk about you in front of your face for a moment. Okay. RC <laughs> is an educator. He yeah. is a very um, well-known photographer. He writes books about photography books and he happens to be a photoshop i think the word expert in this case is is i mean does not fit the bill you you know everything about photoshop it's ridiculous enough it's it's a bit i mean it's one of those things where it's like when you're playing with photoshop there's there's always really there's always spots where you can get really really good at it and then there's spots that you kind of never touch. So you'll always run into somebody who'll turn around and go, I have this one thing about this one problem with this one scenario. And you're like, can't help you there. Buddy, I don't know. Yeah. I, dude, I have no idea. Yeah, but that but, happens to you about 1% of the time. It happens to me about 98. But, so. it's, but it's cool, man. It's like I, I work for a company called Kelby Media Group. And what I do is I spend time just developing content, just doing stuff in digital photography and in Photoshop. and. You know, a lot of the a lot of the stuff that we do is photography related, but it also just kind of spends a lot of time in the Photoshop space, and um, it's great. It's it's great. We get to communicate with so many different people. We get to be on air. We get to do shows and books and DVDs and things like that. And so you have free content. You have pay content. You have both. Yes. So we there's do both. there's something for everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I've watched some of those. They're very informative. Oh, thanks. Very. You guys, you guys have a lot in common. Okay, because unlike me. You guys actually teach people stuff. Yep. Both of you do. Yep. You yep. know, so uh, I just kind of sit around on screen with good-looking people, and you know. <laughs> but you teach people technology. <laughs> Bring so them the latest we, news. We talk about it. That's right. You know, I, Photoshop is not a strong point for me. I, I don't do a lot of post-production. That's mm -hmm. why whenever I you know tune in and watch any Photoshop tips, it's pretty incredible what you can do in there. There is, there, it, it's, it's immense. You guys have conferences that you guys run? Yep, we do conferences as well. So every six months we run, well we have like single day tours where we go around each city to do stuff and then we have multi-day tours. Uh, that's Photoshop World. So every six months we put uh, together a conference on the East Coast. Usually it's like Orlando or Boston or things like that. And then six months from there, we do it in Vegas. Oh, all right. So we'll get you know a couple thousand people to come out there and just kind of hang out and just talk about photography, lighting, Photoshop, and things like that. So it's 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 definitely a really really cool thing where it's a cool community. It's 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 a very it's a community that's very very interested in pushing the envelope and taking it to the next level and doing something really really interesting in photography. So when Photoshop comes out with something new, or when they're pr planning on something new, is there yes. something that you want to see in there, or do they come to you and say, hey, what would you like to see in the next? Uh, next edition, do you get any input in on yes. that now? Actually, you know, we're very grateful to work with them. We're very grateful to have a good partnership with them to do those kinds of things. But one of the things that I will say to Adobe's credit is they spend a lot of time listening to a lot of people in the community. I mean, it's just not just us, but they really do go out to a wide range of people and do that. Like, here's a perfect example. Um, 
we have an organization called the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. Right, so there's about 75,000 people there. Nice. That's amazing. And they have, so it's over at photoshopuser.com. They actually went to our community and said, listen, we know what those guys want, but what do you guys want? You know, what, what would you guys like to see? And they've worked with having people on, you know, doing, working on betas and doing different programs and doing feature requests because they want to be able to go out and, you know, serve the entire community. They're not just serving pros. They're not just serving pro graphic designers. So they do a really, really good job of getting out to the people and talking to them and doing all sorts of different um, focus testing and doing, you know, demos and doing all that kind of stuff. So I give them a lot of credit for that kind of stuff. I love the fact that you're associated with NAP and uh, you do a lot of good work with them. You do some stuff on your own, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that everybody knows how they can get a hold of you and your stuff. So A, how do they find you on the yeah. web? Easiest place for you to find me is just to go to aboutrc.com. Aboutrc.com. That's much better than trying to spell Concepcion. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, that's right. It's one of those things where I, I tell people, I'm like, the URL, right? I do a lot of web work, I tell people the URL is probably the easiest thing. You need to make that as easy as possible for people to remember. Absolutely. You're right. I'm like, if you can't remember it, I mean, I'll call it fish if I have to. <laughs> yeah. But you want to make it, you want to make it memorable. You want to make it very, very easy for somebody to do that. So aboutrc.com, you can get to my Twitter there. You can get to my Google Plus from there. You can get to Kelby Training from there. There's all of the stuff that we do there. You have also written books. Yes. Tell us about them. Yes. All right. So I wrote two books. I wrote one book called Get Your Photography on the Web. Just to get your photography. Is it about getting your photography on the web? Why, yes, it is. That's amazing. It, it is. And then I wrote another book called The HDR Book. And HDR. Yeah. Woo. Wow. You want that's to talk a, about something polarizing? Yeah. That's, that <laughs> people love it or hate it, right? Lord. There's a middle ground, I think. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where the first book, what I wanted to do there was I have a big... IT background. Right, so I was an IT manager, definitely a big propeller head. And I wanted to write a book for photographers to kind of put them on the web. And when I first started working for Scott Kelby, I had this idea that I was going to be the guy who was going to teach everybody programming. I was the guy that was going to yeah. teach everybody Flash. I was the guy that was going to do all of these different things. And Scott just like looked at me dead in the eye and he was just like, do you understand that nobody wants to know that stuff? Do you get that like photographers could care less about programming? Photographers want to be photographers. Yeah. That's it. They just want to turn around and, and they want to get their stuff on the web as easy, as simply as possible. So you wrote That's a it. book to tell them how to do it. Yeah. And you know what? I submitted a chapter to them. And I was just like, listen, I'm talking about DNS and servers and things like that. And Scott's like, oh, wow. Ripped it up. And he was just like, you need to write a book that someone with no experience does and you need to make it this big. Yeah. He's like, if at the end of that book, somebody reads it and they go, that's it, then you did what then you were supposed to do. So, and that was the first book, and it did very, very well. I was very happy about that. And then we got into the HDR space. HDR is something that has this kind of like, you can either do Elvis on Velvet, or really, really nice, kind of naturalistic to yeah. yeah. And I hope you can teach more people that end of it. Yeah, <laughs> well, and that's the thing, it's, it's like, what happens is there's this huge fist fight in the middle of HDR that, that deals with it. And this stuff, this stuff sucks. This stuff is cool. And I sat there and I was just like, listen, my job is to be a teacher. My job above all is to be able to talk to people about how to be able to do something. And I started noticing that in HDR photography, everybody would, well, some of the best ones would be like, oh, well, I did some HDR and some post, HDR and some post. And I'm like, well, what do you mean some post? You know, are you spending five minutes in Photoshop, two hours in Photoshop? And as it turned out, I, I wanted, I, I looked at it and it was just like, there was a lot of information in the plus post. So I wanted to write a book that obviously talks about HDR, obviously talks about how to be able to make it. But truthfully, like a monkey could make HDR. I mean, it really is very brainless. I mean, you get to a location, you take a series of shots, you jiggle a whole bunch of sliders, and you're like, yeah, it's there, pretty bang. good. So uh, there's no, and, and I'm the first person to say that, and, I, and when I talk to people about it, I'm just like, I don't find it particularly all that impressive when you shoot HDR. Uh, I, I like it. I, it's I think I'm tool, pretty right? good at it's it. It's a yeah. tool that you could have in your tool bag. But it's a tool, and, and, and it, it, stuff that sucks is going to suck in HDR. It's going <laughs> to suck anywhere. Right, and, and I think a lot comes with the experience. 
you know, once you get educated on, it, 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 the, you see the people's early stuff, mm -hmm. and it's so over the top, it's not even funny. But when you look at an image and you go, well, I can't even tell if something's been done to it, but it really has been, that's when, you know, I can sit there and go, I like that HDR. Because I am not an HDR fan, mm -hmm. but when you come across something good, I am... I, I can go, that's a nice HDR, because it looks good. And that's the thing, and, and so I'm By the way, there. guys, yeah. I get to play Timekeeper today since Callie isn't here. <laughs> Speaking of things that look good, we my hair? actually have, you look exceptional Thank today, you. my friend. We actually have somebody who has a very good looking piece of technology with him. He's gonna come up next. Yeah. RC, can you stick around yeah, for a little I'm bit? Absolutely. You wanna help around. play kind of interviewer with us? Sure. Excellent, because actually we've got Danny, 